Whoa! <laughs> hey, man! Watch out, man! Here I come, man! I like to say, man, man! It's me, Shakes! You know, the guy who's always sticking his nose in other people's business. Blargar, blargar. Blah, 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 blah. Yes! Brilliant! Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Not you, Chuck T. Chipperson! My Technovision glasses! The glasses you are wearing are the perfect training device. I can loan any player from any team into your field of vision. I've even got managers, reporters, all kinds of stuff. I don't know, Tony. These things make me feel like I'm going crazy. Oh, wait. There we go. Better? Hi, Tony. Can I try the movie glasses? John J. Johnson, Jr., you're supposed to be sorting out the vermin problem. You don't need to worry about this gun, Tony. I've taken care of it. The stink bag is finally gone? You'll never see that skunk again. <laughs> you give me those glasses right now! <laughs> Technovision isn't a toy. It should only be used for training. <gasps> or sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I must be like 20 feet high. El Matador, you've scored 10 goals in four games. What is the secret to your phenomenal form? Well, Lena, when I look my best, I play my best. The shiny teeth. The giant head. The perfect hair. The incredible self-indulgence. And the finishing touch. My custom design, super expensive, one-of-a-kind glasses. Ooh. Ouch! Nobody touches the glasses. They're so copyright protected, if I tried to make another one, I'd have to sue myself. Hurry up, El Matador. Coach is waiting. You can't rush perfection. Uh, <laughs> dude takes more showers in a day than I do in a month. Uh, well, it's working. Celebrity Stalker magazine says El Matador is the hottest player in the Super League right now. What? They were handing them out for free on the plane. Uh, no they weren't. We got here on the striker jet. My redesign worked. It's the perfect replica. With a bit of Technovision magic, of course. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm looking great. Hey, hey. Gonna score lots of goals today. You a skunk! I'm getting out of here. The skunk. My glasses feel kind of weird. Did you guys mess with them? Nobody touched your glasses, man. Yeah, don't want to get sued. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get down to business. First of all, we'll map up a defensive response. Tony? We'll expect a tight defense around the goal. Nope, but there. A staggered defense. Tony even lets super strikers use the movie glasses. Hmm. If I can't use the movie glasses, Maybe I can make the movies. <laughs> it's showtime! Technicali have been very good in attack, overwhelming the opposition with their numbers. But pushing all their men forward leaves the defense exposed. Huh. And we got just the man to make them pay. Right, El Matador? Huh? Mm -hmm. El Matador! I swear something feels weird about my glasses. <sighs> Let's do it, guys. We got to be prepared for Technicali. Yeah. Who knows what that madman Tony Verne is up to? Day one. It stinks so much. I have stuffed El Matador's socks into my nose to block out the smell. It isn't working. I got it! <laughs> no, you 
Jeder und oh! Hmm. What should I do for my first scene? El Matador! Can I get a photo? Uh, who do you work for? I only appear in A-list magazines. Uh, um... Ponytail magazine? Oh, of course. Uh, just make sure you get my goods. Ah, go! And cut. What a scene. John J. Johnson <gasps> Jr.? What are you doing in my lab? Oh, nothing, Tony. <laughs> Ew! What's that smell? I don't want to talk about it. A matador. I was wide open. Sorry, Shakes. I was going to pass, but that reporter wanted my photo for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, <laughs> what reporter, dude? That guy. Right over... Huh? He must have already got what he needed. I am very photogenic. Anyway, a good practice, guys. I'm gonna go take a shower. Did you guys see a reporter? <laughs> According to Pointless Gossip magazine, El Matador is showing all the signs of a celebrity breakdown. I bought it for a friend, okay? Oh, yeah? What's his name? Never mind that. It says that the clear signs of a complete mental breakdown are paranoia. He was convinced someone touched his glasses. Hallucinations. Like the invisible reporter from Ponytail Magazine. <laughs> Anything else we should be looking out for, man? An urge to trash hotel rooms. <gasps> How about locker rooms? What? I'm sorry, El Matador, but this is for your own good. What is? A celebrity intervention! Get him! Uh, how many times do I have to tell you guys? Some mysterious intruder messed with my glasses, a skunk trashed our locker room, and the reporter took my photo at practice. Uh, denial is a clear sign of a celebrity breakdown. You guys are just jealous that they chose me for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. I looked it up. There's no such thing as Ponytail Magazine. Yeah, dude. Ponytails went out of fashion in the 80s. How dare you? Uh, Shakes, uh, you believe me, right? Uh, I... I uh... Fine. I'm going to go hang out with someone who knows what it's like to be a big superstar. <laughs> all right, all right, we get it. That went well. <sighs> I'll go speak to him. Well, hurry up or you'll lose him, Shakes. Well, not unless you know the big superstar he's going to hang with. But we are in Hollywood. That could be anyone. Don't worry. There's only one big superstar El Matador listens to. Oh, El Matador. It's tough being a misunderstood, rich, incredibly handsome soccer star. I know how you feel. Huh? John J. Johnson Jr.? Tony never trusts me to do anything. But he's not here. <laughs> but I still believe in myself, no matter what anyone says. Uh, do you always go out dressed like that? Uh... The 80s are back. Spandex is totally fashionable. <laughs> you should tell that to Norshaw. My ponytail is so in. Congratulations on making the cover of Ponytail Magazine, by the way. Why, thank you. Hey, how did you know about that? Uh, news travels fast in Hollywood. Okay, this is my big chance. What do all good movies need? <gasps> Drama! El Matador, what's wrong? Uh, my teammates think I've gone crazy. Say, do you hear that music? Mm-mm. Drama. Check. What else? Action! Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ninjas! What are we gonna do, John J. Johnson Jr.? What do you want? We are jealous of your awesome ponytail. Give it to us or face the consequences. You want my ponytail? Come and get it. So be it. Bro, we're bros, and bros shouldn't fight. Right, bro? Nah, lame. El Matador, we're all just worried about you. C come back. 
Sound like his mom. El Matador, being in a team is all about trust. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you're... Huh? Crazy. Shakes, help! El Matador? Oh, God. This isn't over, El Matador. Your money there will be ours. <laughs> <laughs> Shakes, and those evil ninjas were after my ponytail. El Matador, I think you should look at this. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Klaus was right. I am having a celebrity breakdown. The game against Technicali. It's tomorrow. Oh, Shakes, what am I going to do? Maybe you need to sit it out? You wouldn't tell Coach, would you? Dude. We have a chance to beat Technicali on their home turf. Come on! I'm your friendly, super reliable gold getting strike partner. I'll be fine. <laughs> Match day at the hub. And it looks like Technicali are sticking to their attacking formation. With El Matador in red hot form, they'll be torn apart. So, Shakes, dude. What happened with the Lord of the Shower Rings over there? Yeah, is he seeing things all way? Is he in the right frame of mind to play? Well... Hey, guys! Yeah? What are you talking about? Yeah, uh, like I was saying, he's totally fine. Day two. The smell isn't going away. But I must remain focused on my mission. All right, El Matador, it's showtime! And we're off. <laughs> Cheeky shakes! And highly effective. <laughs> El Matador has an early opportunity here. He's clean through. Huh? Where'd you guys come from? From your worst nightmare. Shakes, back to you! Instead of shooting, El Matador passes to a marked man! It works! I'm a genius! I was wide open, dude. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, trouble here for Super Strikers. Electrifying stuff from the Technicali boys. Technicali achieve on their first try what El Matadors failed to do the entire half. Dude, you're not handling the pressure. I gotta tell Coach about... Ah, whatever, Shakes. It's like John J. Johnson Jr. said. I gotta believe in myself no matter what anyone says. Wait, when did you see him? Uh, last night, just before the ninja attack. He wasn't real, was he? <laughs> but if El Marado wasn't lying about the skull, then... John, who's on the cover of this month's Ponytail Magazine? El Matador, obviously. Uh, I mean, i uh, never heard of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, gotta go. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shakes knows about Technovision. Oh, I gotta fix this. Hey, I thought those glasses were only meant for training. Tony? Why did Tony ask us to meet him here? Tony! So Ooh. Oh, yes! Much better! What have you done? It wasn't me. It was the skunk. I'm talking about El Matador's glasses. I thought you might need a little help with, uh, you know, winning. Oh. oh, quit moaning. You have a goal. But I want goals fair and square. Now listen, El Matador is being subbed as we speak. Hang back, defend your lead, and the game is yours. Any questions? Yeah. What's that smell? Oh. I think it's obvious that one of us has a serious problem. 
All right, I admit it. I am addicted to the gossip magazines. I need help. You were talking about El Matador, weren't you? Guys, I just saw a skunk. Uh, good for you, dude. Don't you get it? It means El Matador wasn't lying about trashing the locker room. And that's not all. John J. Johnson Jr. knows about Ponytail Magazine. How would he know about a made-up magazine? Because he's the one who made it up. So what is going on? Whoa, whoa, easy there, brother. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, keep cool, John J. Johnson Jr. You gotta get to El Matador before Shakes does. Hmm? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, El Matador. Uh, listen, buddy, I'm not feeling that good, so when I come back into the change room in a moment, I may be acting a little crazy. Ha! You know the rules, Shanks. Uh. I'm calling my law. Oh. <laughs> hmm? So you just ignore everything I say. We need you on the field for the second half. Okay, he's gone. Huh? Tony Byrne swapped your glasses for some kind of VR projection goggles. I... I'm not crazy. Can you play without your glasses? No, coach. Then I'm gonna have to sub you. Uh, Tony Byrne sabotaged my game and made you guys think I was crazy and worst of all, touched my glasses. Uh, you gotta let me get back at him. Hmm. The two sides emerge for the second half, and first out is El Matador. I'm surprised he's on the field at all after his terrible first half performance. They didn't sub him? Oh, well, El Matador, you're about to find out what this baby can really do. El Matador on the attack. Can he find some form in the second half? Ha! I'd be surprised if he can even find the ball the way he's been playing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got past two players. Here's ten more! What's he gonna do, people? He's gonna pass to himself. Oh! Technovision is meant to make him worse, not better! How about some special effects to liven things up? <laughs> Touches the glasses. Tail magazine. <laughs> That'll do. Back to me. Huh? Eat this, Fido. Amazing. Unbelievable. Sorry we didn't trust you, man. Ah, don't worry. It was Tony's fault. Are we going to teach that sucker a lesson? Well, Spiteful Teen Magazine has an article on the 10 best ways to get back at an ex-BFF. Don't worry, guys. I already know how to make Tony pay. Get your 
high-tech augmented reality technoglasses right here. Uh, at least I can make my money back on these stupid things. <laughs> Boss, I found some people interested in the movie glasses. Ah, welcome, welcome. And who do I have the pleasure of doing business with? El Matador's lawyers. We're here to talk to you about copyright infringement. <gasps> what is that smell? I <sighs> don't want to talk about it. You think you're gonna be able to handle this, Shakes? Yeah, I've been working on a killer new move. The only thing you're gonna hear from the Sultans fans is, no, how does Shakes do it? Ah! And what about you, Spenza? It's gonna be difficult to chant louder than them. Ha, you're talking to a super fan, son. We're the loudest in the business. We've got a lot of work to do. Miko, what happened out there, dude? We were ready, prepared, but that sound. Come on, brother. You've played plenty of mega stadiums before. You cannot understand it until you are out there. Hmm. I've never seen Miko that spooked by, well, anything. That's why we're doing extra preparation to handle the Sultan's fans. Prof? You may be used to lifting our uh, dumbbells, but today you will have to contend with decibels. What? Exactly. Decibels and watts are both ways to measure loudness. The first challenge when playing in front of a noisy crowd is communication. I've developed a series of, uh, hand gestures to use on the pitch. Learn them all. Sure thing. Or rather... Your budgie has toothache? Uh, perhaps I need a little more time to learn them. All right, superfans! Our mission... The Goliath! 200 restaurants, 130 shops, movie theaters, arcades, ice rink, petting zoo. I can't promise all of you will make Spencer! it loud. Super friend! <laughs> uh, just getting the crew G'd up for the Sultan's game. Let's focus on out singing the Sultan's fans, not out shopping them, yeah? <laughs> All right, guys. I've got some awesome new chants to try out. But first, warm ups. One, two, three! <gasps> okay, boys. You've learned the hand signals. Some of you have learned the hand signals. The second challenge when playing in front of a massive crowd is how you handle the noise. Come on, coach. The fans don't make that much difference. Pros like us have perfect concentration. What are we talking about again? According to my calculations, 
this should be... A perfect simulation of the Goliath! His new move. Is a hostile environment like the Goliath really the best place to try a new technique? Let's find out. What was that? We didn't even wake up Sandra. Again, and this time, make it count. Super Striker! Super Striker! Strikers, welcome to the Goliath. I have no doubt it will overwhelm you with its facilities. Food, clothes, accessories, cinemas, an ice rink, a petting zoo. Goliath has everything you could possibly want. And you, as my guest, can access it all with your very own personal GoPass. Whoa, thanks, Whoa. 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 Very kind of you, Sheik. But the only thing we have time for right now is football. You taught him the hand gestures? The stadium is full of spiders? We gotta get out of here! Never mind. So, what do you think of the Goliath? Dude! I wanna live here! So many awesome things to check out! Well, this all-access go-pass might help. <gasps> I will only use this mighty tool for the power of good. And maybe some snacks. It's go time! <laughs> Match day at Goliath Stadium. And I have to say, Super Strikers are looking cool as ice. Say it! You have to shout it in this stadium! All right, guys, let's show these Sultans fans how it's done. One, two, three. Super Strikers rule the pitch and we control the stands. The Lion Chiefs don't have a chance against the Super Fans. Spinza, where are you? Uh, oh, go pass. How oh, I love thee. Field side. But I'm not gonna last 90 minutes. Oh! It's go time. Super Strikers look to assert themselves early on. And so do their fans. Sublime! 
I don't know what happened. I had that move down. Playing in front of all these fans is totally different to training. Maybe keep it simple next time, Shakespeare. Yeah, give the ball to the player with the perfect... Uh, concentration? That's the stuff. Ah, much better. <gasps> but I'm so late! Friend's gonna be mad? Shortcut! Go time! Huh? Hey, I thought this thing was all access! The home support wanted Super Strike as attack! Now, can they help Sultans take the lead? <laughs> Not if North Shaw can help it. Go to the south or the east or the west, but if you head north, you'll be dispossessed. Wow, the Super Strikers fans are really doing their part. But there's nothing compared to this whole crowd. That's like Sultans have a 12th player on the pitch. What are you doing here? What indeed? This area is off limits to to everyone. Everyone. Uh, go pass. <laughs> and don't come back ever. ever. Wow, pretty decisive first half, eh, Brenda? Yep. The team with the most fans wins. Nico was right. You really don't know what it's like till you're out there. I don't know, guys. There's something weird about that noise. That sounded like a million people, not 150,000. Yeah, uh, where are they hiding, Shakes? The ice rink? Oh, the petting zoo. Go passes. Uh, don't actually have mine on me. The Go Pass is the only way to access restricted areas. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Oh, man! Spend uh. up! Half time? Where were you? Uh, not sure exactly. This place is big. Endless corridors. Bottomless sodas. I'm sorry. I haven't been much of a super fan. But I promise to give 120% in the second half. Huh? Shakes? There's old yogurt in my tog bag. Go fetch the itching powder. You say potato, I say potato. I've got it. Something weird's going on here. Use the go pass to investigate. Come on, friend. It's go time. Spence has stop. What about your promise? Super strikers need us now more than ever. Fran, being a super fan isn't just about what's in here or here. It's about what's going on in there. Okay, fine. Spence a PI. Let's investigate. But we need a way to get past those grouchy scientist peeps. Go time! Do something! This isn't working! Uh, uh, and it was then that I realized E must equal MC squared. Yeah! Happens to me all the time.
rebooting machine for second half. Power okay. Amplifiers warming up. fans weren't enough, so the Sheik added a few million decibels right underneath the pitch. <laughs> no wonder Super Strikers can't handle the noise. We gotta shut this thing down somehow. And I think I know how. You mean? It's go time. The game's about to restart. Let's see if Super Strikers can make more of an impression in the second half. Uh, unlikely, Mac. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse for the men in red, their fans desert them. Shakes, what did you say to Spenza? Whatever it was, I don't think he understood the hand signals. No ghouls and no fans. Can things get any worse for Super Strikers? There's the signal. That's a go, people. Super fans. Let's do this. <laughs> Perhaps all Super League teams should build themselves a bigger stadium, Mac. Hey, scientist peeps. You can't be in here. This area is off limits. We're not going anywhere till we shut down that machine. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Our decibel generator is made from titanium alloy. Titanium? It's practically indestructible. Practically. But we already know it's one weakness. Every machine's weakness. <gasps> Super fans! One, two, three! The Sultan's chanting, it just disappeared. I know, what happened? They did. Even I know that hand signal. Come on guys, let's win this for the fans. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Now, how about the classic? Count us in, Spens. One, two, three, four. Super Striker! Super Striker! Super Striker! Super Striker! Super Striker! Super Striker! Remember, Six, constant. Ah, oh, never mind. Just scored the goal. Super Striker! Super Striker! Our turn to cheer. One, 
two, three, Hard luck, Shay. Yeah, I heard you had a sound strategy. Pity it fizzed out. <clears throat> <sighs> Thanks. And I have something for you, Shakes. Um, uh, what's this? Your go pass bill. Okay, the bus is leaving. Gotta go. <laughs> what? Who buys a hundred and thirty sodas? Come on. Uh, yeah. Uh, come on. Uh. He's through the Nakama midfield. Last chance before full time. He's through the Nakama midfield. Last chance before full time. Shakes, aren't you bored of that game yet? Yeah, you clock it like every time you play. I don't know why you play that thing at all, brother. Why would you want to play fake football when you're going to jam the real thing against Nakama tomorrow? Super League 3000X is just like real soccer, Cool Joe. Sorry, Shakes. Games just don't impress me. The ball gets away from him. Missed opportunity. The ball gets away from him. Missed opportunity. Ah. You lose. <laughs> mm. It is kind of dated. But apparently the new version is going to be so good. Amazing graphics and super realistic sound effects. <gasps> oh, yeah. And the world's best players. Coming soon. Super League 4000X. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, Big XP feeling totally nerfed right now. <laughs> I'm Alex. I'm gonna motion capture your moves for SL4000X. Hi, Alex. I'm Shakes. Uber, cool. You want Um, it's Shakes, not Uber. Uh, Uber's from Iron Tank. Uh, it's an expression. Ah, uh, saws. Uh, uh, I mean, sorry. Sometimes I forget how people speak out there. You ready for the grand tour? Huh? <laughs> Yo, 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 it's Uncool Joe. Phew, is that a funny smell or is it just a ping pong? Table tennis to you, sucker. Uh, so I'm guessing you know each other? Hey guys, meet Chill John, world's number one ping pong player. Table tennis? Everything he knows about, well, everything really, he borrowed from yours truly. Please! I'm past those beginner techniques, sucker. I am the new king of spin. Your style is still cool, Joe. Your spin is thin. Huh. <clears throat> Tour starting. You guys coming? First up, it's the coders. Super intelligent brainiacs who build the games. The testers basically play games and eat chocolate the whole day. <laughs> cool. Where do I sign up? Here we have the sound studio. Real Super League players and coaches are contributing their voices to SL4000X. Yeah, good call. The sound effects in 3000 kind of sucked. Game over. You lose. <laughs> Game over. You lose. <laughs> Okay, okay, we're, we're getting there. Can you make it feel more summery, more sunny? What? This isn't the weather report. Don't worry. We're almost there. Take 346. Go. Uh, I give up. And finally, where the real magic happens. Super Strikers? The Motion Capture Studio is where we capture every detail of your moves. Every detail, hey? <laughs> yes, yes, genius, fantastic! Do it again, but 
into the microphone this time, yeah? <sighs> Welcome to the Motion Capture Studio. The position and movement of the sensors on your suits are recorded by special cameras, and the data is input into this computer. All right. Oh, I read. <laughs> oh, please, Alex. Don't be motion capturing this, okay? <laughs> Don't worry. The only thing I want to capture is all the classic Super Strikers moves. times I gotta tell you guys, video games just ain't my thing. But the game won't be the same without the four pillars of spin. I don't know, brother. <sighs> Come on. All right, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? I, uh, um... It's not Cosplay Friday, is it? No. Oh, I feel like such a fool. Don't. You're rocking that look. Great costume. Uh, thanks. Hey, why don't we swap? Really? Really. Like, really, really? Really, really. Like, really? Get ready for the four pillars of spin. Left spin. Right spin. Back spin. How does he spin the ball like that? Unbelievable. Can't wait to see this stuff in gameplay. <laughs> Top spin. I got this one, I got this one. Uh, okay, you can have this one. <laughs> Thanks, sister. And how do you guys know where the ball's gonna go? Practice makes perfect. Uh, more like practice and practice and practice makes perfect. SL4000X is gonna rock! You guys have been so much help! Yes. You've been so much help, Super Stikers. And there you have it, Cool Joe's four pillars of spin. Know them, spot them, intercept them. It will always be one of four. This is going to make Super Striker's head spin. <laughs> huh? Now I get the laugh right. It's Nakama versus Super Strikers, live from Gashuku Stadium. These two famous rivals are equally matched. But if one player can make the difference, it's Cool Joe. The Crossing King! There's the cross. Shakes and El Matador are there. Can one of them get a touch? What? Ooh, well read by Miko Chen. <laughs> Looks like Cool Joe just needs to kick to me next time. Yes? Hmm. Oh, the Kama are at their most dangerous on the counterattack. Super Strikers try to regroup. But it's no use. Oh! Nakama take the first game. Seems across 
Blessing King has been dethroned. You lose, Super Strikers. <laughs> Game over. You lose. <laughs> Uh, Cool Joe? What? I think I know why Nakama can read your four spins. Oh, really? How? Urigiri was at the mocap studio yesterday. <laughs> Rewind there, brother. Urigiri was where? I'm sorry. I think he saw your moves. What did I tell you? All that digital juju, no emotion capture wireless <laughs> is no good, brother. <laughs> Cool Joe, hey, you need to think about what happens to my ego when I'm not scoring goals, man. And don't be so selfish, okay? Thanks for coming by. We're totally gonna get our revenge in the return match. How, Shakes? Urigiri saw all my moves. The four pillars of spin ain't secret anymore. Hey, look on the bright side, Cool Joe. It can't get any worse. <clears throat> yo, 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 yo. Don't worry. I already signed this one for ya. Paddle power? I saw Nakama shut you down, Cool Joe. Told you I'm the new king of spin. But don't worry. Maybe you can learn a thing or two from my game. I got spin you can't even imagine. Ah! You like game shakes? Why not play ping pong till the new Super League game comes out? Table tennis, fool! Spin you can't even imagine, huh? Level one. Your spin is thin. Level 10, sucker. Not bad. Level 24, are you the next speed master? Level 36, you got some moves, Slick. Level 50, oh yeah, new spin unlocked. The Corkscrew! Yeah! Woohoo! Oh, I knew I could do it. Oh. I gotta find Jill John. Oh, come on, Shakes, at least wash your hands. Thanks for the help, Alex. It's the least I can do after my noob mistake with a mocap. This is the place. But I don't know how we're gonna get in, especially considering you're friends with Cool Joe. Undercover, of course. Don't want to give the game away. Uh, didn't we already do that? the corkscrew. Seriously, Cool Joe, there is a fifth spin, and I know how you can learn it. Please, Shakes, I've already learned my lesson. Why would I take your advice ever again? Listen to him, Cool Joe. Yeah, come on, we need you out there. Or I might not score any goals. Whatever, all Shakes has done the last few days is play paddle power. Yeah. That's kind of how I found out about the fifth spin. Video games, table tennis, Jill John. 
These are a few of my least favorite things. The fifth spin exists. I developed it. Hm. I'll believe it when I see it. Oh. Huh. To help you learn the corkscrew extra fast, we're gonna mocap it and analyze it. Just like Uragiri did with your moves. I guess if video games got us into this mess, video games can get us out. Uh, there's one other thing. Just like in Paddle Power, the corkscrew has to be unlocked. Really? I want to prove once and for all who's the best spinner of them all. Like I said, I don't play the pawn. Table tennis! I need goals, Cool Joe. Do it for me. And the team also. All you have to do is get one point off him. So these two teams aren't as evenly matched as they once were, Brenda. So, Coach has made a big change. Klaus is on the left wing, and Cool Joe is nowhere to be seen. crosses make scoring easy. No, they don't. Okay, maybe they do a little. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure Cool Joe got that point by now. Uh. <sighs> yo, yo, guy plays like a total badger. Come on, you scoundrel. Let him beat you. Just one point. No way, El Matador. I want to win fair and square. Oh, this is not the time for honor, Cool Joe. Forget your pride. Abandon your principles, man. No way. I have to embrace my principles. I'm no gamer like Shakes. I can't play table tennis like Chill John. I'm a footballer. Run, I can do it. You can do it, Mom. You can do it. Wicked The facts don't lie, Chill John. The number one spinner mm -hmm. is always the winner. You oh, are a legend. legend. Yes. Oh, what a rally. Foot table tennis? Come on! Deal's a deal, brother. The second half is underway. Fantastic news for Super Strikers. Looks like Cool Joe's on the field and immediately into the action. Woohoo! Go, Cool Joe! Even if Cool Joe can pull off the corkscrew, how do we know where it's gonna go? No practice and practice and practice, right? Yeah. And from what I've seen, the corkscrew has a mind of its own. What's the use, Cool Joe? We know all your spins. All right, this is it. Fifth spin coming up. I hope. One of four. It's sailing into the danger area. But it's gone past everyone. Ha, 
Oh, yeah. The number one spitter is always the winner. <sighs> I lose. Nice. Like dusk. We're keeping that one. <sighs> Oh, man, SL4000X is beyond awesome. Got you again, Urigiri. <sighs> I lose! <laughs> 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 Hey guys, yo, 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 yo. Aw, oh, Shakes, you still playing that old school SL4000X game? We're jamming our new hybrid Paddle Power versus Super League game. Spinner takes all. I just got it delivered from Alex. <laughs> Looks cool. Can I try? No way, man. I've only got to like level 41. In time, brother. In time. <laughs> Superstriker's ace goal scorer Shakes returns to training after he's a rip. All right. I'm ready. Shakes! Ah, shakes, amigo! Shakes. We're totally apt to have our star striker back, dude! But El Matador didn't go anywhere. Thanks, guys. I can't wait to score some goals. It's been way too long. Uh, you do know who we're facing next, right? <clears throat> Hark. Hmm. Well, you don't need to worry about getting injured again, Shakes. Presenting the ultimate in soccer safety equipment! An airbag for your shins. I need someone to kick me. I'll do it, Klaus. <laughs> See? I am completely a ninja. Uh, <laughs> Ouch. What do you got for me, coach? Shakes? We, we need, need to, to test, test your, your match, match readiness, readiness before, before you rejoin the first team. Match readiness test initiated. You're sure we aren't being a little tough on the guy, coach? If he can't take this, there's no way he'll handle Iron Tank. Match readiness rating, 25%. 50%. 75%. The moment of truth. Shane! Watch out, man! Match readiness test aborted. <sighs> you called it, Coach Man. His physical injury is healed. But the emotional scar remains. You gotta be kidding me, coach. You honestly expect me to just sit and watch while the guys battle Iron Tank? Of course not. I have an important solo mission for you. Super Strikers, we write to you in a time of desperate need. Only you can help us. Open our brand new mall? It doesn't have to be a mall opening. Movie premieres, theme parks, old age homes, take your pick. I don't want to make celebrity appearances. I want to take on Uber. You're not ready. Pick any event you want. 
go anywhere in the world. But get your mind off Iron Tank. Video games on the state of the art tracking screen. Oh, Come on, sir. Sir. Sorry, Sorry, sir. sir. Get back to work, you lazy dogs. Now, what is it you want to show me? Super Strikers have left for the Fortress Stadium. But Shakes is heading for China. Hmm. Suspicious. Keep me informed of all his movements. Well, sure beats them all opening. Welcome to the Yellow Emperor's Palace, official home of the History of Football Museum. Uh, thanks? <laughs> Sorry, tour guide mode, force of habit. I'm Xing. Come on, let me show you around. The museum features soccer from throughout history. That's mob football from 16th century England. Any number of players, no rules. Invincible United are playing in the wrong century. The ancient Greek game of Episkiros was more like modern soccer, with one big exception. Players could use their hands. Yeah, and they didn't wear pants. This is all very impressive, but why'd you guys need me here? You're gonna be the guest of honor at the unveiling of our new exhibit. You get to cut the ribbon. <laughs> all part of the service when you call Soccer Stars for Hire. So, can I get a sneak peek? Sorry, no one's allowed to see the exhibit before the grand unveiling. But I suppose I can make an exception for shakes from Super Strikers. What is that? Football's oldest known predecessor, Kuju. Players had to keep control of a ball while fighting off crazy kung fu attacks. This tapestry tells the legend of a teenager who single-handedly defeated a whole team of soldiers. Man. This is too cool. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Come on. Welcome to the Yellow Emperor's training arena. Whoa. Kuju was the Super League of ancient China, and the Emperor wanted to make sure his team was the best. So he built this place. <laughs> Sounds like Coach. I could show you some Kuju moves if you want, you know. To use against Uber if he tries to injure you again. Thanks, but, uh, Coach dropped me for the Iron Tank game. No ways. He doesn't think I'm ready to face Uber. Well, what better way to prove that you are than busting out some Kuju moves? No offense, but if I was going up against Iron Tank, I'd need to learn from a master. You know, long beard, flowing robes, in riddles does speak. <laughs> Report. Thor is about to break the club record. Not the game. Shakes! Sir, Shakes is under the history of football museum. I knew he was up to something. Iron Tank? <laughs> Get ready to die. <laughs> All right, then. Show me some of these Kuju moves, Master. Everything you need to learn is here. Whoa! What are you doing? Come on! Pick up the pace. If you can't dodge me, how are you gonna dodge a whole team of muscle freaks?
Iron Tank? I'm guessing they're not here for the museum tour. Sorry, Shakes. Training is cancelled. What are you doing here? I was wondering the same about you, Shakes. But now I see what you're up to. You plan to use this fighting football against us. Uber, you stalker creep. I'm not even playing against you. Coach left me off the team. Yeah, sure. You can't lie to a master strategist like me. I know your every move before you make it. Bet you didn't see that move coming, master strategist. Get her! She will teach us the kuju! Hey! Let go of me, walrus! Leave her out of this! Or what? Yeah, I thought so. Coach was right. I'm not ready. A teenager defeated a whole team of soldiers. Faster! Faster! Iron Tank will try to break your rhythm and dent your confidence. Uh, coach, that's not the only thing they'll try to break and dent. That's why you need to pick up the pace. If they can't catch you, they can't foul you. We don't need to worry about that anymore, Coach. I've got a new safety invention, the Slippery Spray. Someone kick me. <sighs> this again? Ow! Oh, I got to hand it to you, Klaus, man. That really works. Hmm, didn't see that one coming. All right, back to practice. <laughs> back to the drawing board. Tell us the secrets of the ancient fighting soccer, or you're going for a long, cold swim. All right, all right. Close your eyes and all will be revealed. That doesn't make any sense at all. Kuju is an ancient sport, shrouded in mystery. It doesn't have to make sense. <sighs> Fine. Ah! Oh, oh. Why would I help you? You tried to end Sheikh's career. End his career? Please. A master strategist would never use such a crude tactic. The tackle on Sheikh's was just a way to implant a tracking chip. That's how they found me. Wait, if Uber put a tracking device in my leg, then... <laughs> 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 Welcome to another epic showdown live from the Fortress Stadium. Bad news for Super Strikers fans. Despite early signs that he'd be back from his injury, Shakes has not made the squad. Guys, you need to look after yourselves out there. We can't afford any more injuries. We're already one player short. Make that two, coach. Uh, where's Klaus? Let me guess. He's working on another safety invention? Huh? <gasps> huh? Uh, Tiger is totally right. Uh, introducing my latest safety invention, this uh, suit of armor. You were hiding, weren't you? Yeah. The only way to avoid being injured by Iron Tank is to avoid playing them. Do you think this game will be less physical than the last encounter, Mac? I very much doubt it, Brenda. And by the looks of it, so do Super Strikers. 
They're keeping their distance from the tank. And it's working. Super Strikers have a chance here. <laughs> Go! <laughs> but El Matador is down. If he isn't celebrating, it must be bad. Yep, the game's only just started, and the men in red are two strikers down. Close. <laughs> You're going on. Yes, coach. Faster! Yeah. Now, Iron Tank have a chance to attack Super Striker's goal. Well, makes a change from attacking Super Strikers. Oh, spoke too soon. Here comes the cross, but it's way too close to the keeper. <gasps> or not. <gasps> no! Iron Tank have plodded their way back into the game. And with Shakes and El Matador out, Coach is going to need an ace up his sleeve to win this one. You can't give up now, Shakes. Um, in case you hadn't noticed, we're locked in a cell. Come on! That's nothing for Shakes from Super Strikers, right? Doing here. Trained in an ancient temple, hitched to ride an iron tank submarine, you know, the usual. I specifically told you to get your mind off Iron Tank. Kinda difficult to do when they follow him around the world. Uh, this is Shing. She taught me an ancient soccer technique. Oh, uh, wait, too How many times do I have to tell you, Shanks? It's not about your technique. Now sit down. You're not playing. Man, coach is scary. Tell me about it. Go close! You can do it! Come on, Lanky! <laughs> Give it your best, Rizzo. <laughs> Don't make me tell you again, Shakes. I know. I'm not ready. But what other choice do we have? Shakes wasn't even in the squad. Then he's on the bench, and now he's playing? Hopefully he can last longer than his teammates did. Seems Shakes is more resourceful than we thought. Don't worry. He's too scared to face me. 80 minutes gone, and the scores are still tied. But Super Strikers still have some life in them. There's Shake's first involvement. Can he make the difference? Attack! Or will I didn't think run him down again? Let's see how Kuju holds up in the 21st century. Amazing move from Shake! Go Shake! Ah! Where is he coming up with this stuff? Remember the Kuju legend. Time to finish the job! Good job.
job, right? Yes, we did. I can't believe that tiny chip caused that much trouble. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's smash the thing! Nah, I got a better idea. This is the worst mission ever. Switch your finding. It will all be worthwhile when we find out what Shakes' new secret training is. Von Eye, how close are we? Oh! Over there! Dear Uber, bet you didn't see this coming. Oh, man. Clean your locker day is the worst. Shakes! <laughs> Hmm, I suppose my locker is a little untidy. No ways! My adventure annuals! I loved these when I was a kid. Oh, this one's my favorite. About a hundred years ago, a Brazilian businessman named Albert Douglas Ventura took on the most insane football project ever. Building a stadium in the middle of the Amazon jungle. Ooh. But the extreme location made construction a nightmare. His crew bailed on him, but Ventura stuck it out, refusing to abandon his dream. You do know that's totally made up, right? Yeah, of North. course. <laughs> the lost stadium is totally real, Shakes. Oh, yeah? And where's Ventura now? He never returned from the jungle. Anacondas, piranhas, panthers! The Amazon is a dangerous place. Brazil has something even more dangerous than all of that. And he's coming to strike a land. Match day at Strike a Land! And Super Strikers are struggling to deal with Palmentieri Starman. The Master of Flair. The Samba King. John Aldo! Welcome to the end of the road. Ha! You think you can stop my samba style? That's cute. Skilled as me, you do as you please. Ha <laughs> The Brazilian maestro has made the league's best defenders look like amateurs. They had no answer for his unpredictable style. Sure. You'll never stop Donaldo by diving in recklessly. You need to focus on the ball, not the man. Yeah, not the ground either, dude. This isn't good, man. Don Aldo seriously damaged their confidence. That's an understatement. We've got one defender who's playing too aggressively, and another who isn't playing at all. Come on, Block. Just one tackle, a little one. Please? <laughs> He says he's fine, as long as his teddy sharing him helps him practice. Those two need a break, a chance to get their heads back in the game. How are we gonna do that and get them to Rio in time for the return leg? I think I have a way. North, Block, I'm sending you on a confidence building session in the Amazon before the game. A jungle adventure? At a luxury hotel. What? 
But it's the Amazon jungle, coach. It's meant to be about danger and excitement, not room service and little tiny shampoo bottles. The hotel has all the facilities and privacy you'll need to focus on stopping Donaldo. And who are we meant to play against? The bellboy? The world's greatest strike force. <gasps> Have I ever told you guys I was a junior wilderness cadet? I promised to use my cadet survival skills to keep us safe in the Amazon. Yeah, Klaus. Maybe you can get your ordering room service badge. Uh, I got that one ages ago. You gotta try to make the most of the situation, dude. Whatever. And here's my Junior Wilderness Cadet Navigation Badge, my Campfire Badge, my Air Guitar Badge, my Mime Badge, my Listing Things Badge, my Crochet Badge, my Life of the Party Badge, my Pancake Eating Badge, my Growing Up Badge, my Not Understanding Social Cues Badge. Whoa. This is gonna be epic. Glad to see you're making the most of the situation. No point in complaining. Yep. Totally gonna make the most of the situation. Come on out. This jetty has been certified safe by a junior wilderness cadet. Hold up, North. Coach said someone from the hotel was meeting us here. Come on, the place is just around the corner. Besides, we need to start practicing ASAP, right? Yeah, but... We got our gear, we got the players, all we need is the pitch. Okay, but only if you're sure you know where the hotel is. Don't worry, dude. I know exactly where we're going. Dancing Rasta. That was the hotel. North and the others didn't make their rendezvous. What? They're somewhere in the jungle. You're in charge till I get back. But coach, they're lost in the Amazon. That'll be like trying to find... Uh, some guys lost in the Amazon. Then I'd better get started. Um, what is that stuff? Oh, this? Volcanic ash and... Watermelon. Yeah, I fly some unusual jobs. You're hired. Name's Mara. Where are we headed? North, didn't you say the hotel was right around the corner? Chillax, it's a big corner. Yeah, what is that? I've got the Junior Wilderness Cadet Sound Identification Badge. It's a panther growl, no, 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 no. It's a wind, hmm, perhaps thunder? I've got it, it's a waterfall. <gasps> hang out in some lame hotel when we can go on an epic adventure. <gasps> you didn't. That's right. We're gonna find the lost stadium. That's insane. It's some made-up story. It doesn't exist. Um, Shakes? My junior wilderness cadet observation skills tell me that it might. to arrange the pickup somewhere down there. That'll 
be a fun landing. You sure about this? I've got a game to win. See? We're totally on the right path. We're supposed to be training for the Palma game, not going on some crazy treasure hunt. But that's the best part, dude. We can practice in the Lost Stadium. An actual pitch will be so much better than some hotel field. And it's not like we can go back to the way we came. You do know this is the worst plan ever, right? Chill. It's an adventure, dude. <sighs> Well, come on, Mr. Ventura. Lead the way. Okay, you were right. The Lost Stadium is real. Now come on, let's go do some long overdue training. Ah! Ouch! A hmm. So much better than some hotel field, eh, North? <sighs> yeah. all over the place. I can't follow it. Uh, oh, great. Stuck in the middle of nowhere and we can't train? Don't worry, guys. I'll use my Junior Wilderness Cadet training to come up with a rescue plan. We'll be out of here in no time at all. We'll never get out of here. And it's all my fault. <sighs> Because I'm a fake! I got all my Junior Wilderness Cadet badges on the internet. Wait, you didn't even have to go outside? Well, I had the window open. It's totally not your fault, Klaus. It's mine. Being dominated by Don Aldo, it, it totally messed me up. But instead of facing up to it, I, I dragged us into some crazy adventure. Tracker in Sheringham. I figured he'd be the one thing you wouldn't leave behind. So, did you at least manage to do some training? Pitch is covered with roots. It's too unpredictable. 
Unpredictable, eh? Get some rest, boys. We train at first light. of looking good if your friends aren't here to appreciate your awesomeness. I kind of even miss Shake Smelly Socks. <sighs> no. Listen up, guys. If Coach says he's gonna find our brothers, he'll do it. And we gotta do our part by giving Palma the toughest game of their lives. We play our hearts out for the first 45. Keep the score at nil-nil. We can do that, right? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Then come on! Let's get out there and do it for our brothers. <laughs> yes. One, right two, on. three, <laughs> Super Strikers! Game on! I've never seen Super Strikers use such a defensive formation. Not surprising, considering half their team hasn't shown up. What is Coach thinking? No idea. He's missing too. Can the reserve defenders stop the Samba King? Huh? They don't have to. Dancing Rasta makes a brilliant tackle. It's all hands on deck for Super Strikers. Even their most attacking players are helping out in defense. <clears throat> but my question is, how long can they keep it up? <sighs> We're almost at half time. Don't let it slip now. And here comes Paul Mentieri again. This must be the final attack of the half. And for once, Donaldo makes it past Dancing Rasta. Can the reserve defenders stop the Samba King? <laughs> nope, his movements are just too unpredictable. No! Ecstasy for Paul Mentieri, but agony for Super Strikers. second half is about to start, and we have unconfirmed reports coming in that... Brenda! Could it be? But the way North Shaw and Block played last game, Coach might be better off sticking with the reserves. And the second half is underway. After last game, I thought you two would run off scared. I'm gonna make you wish you had. Now remember, watch the ball, not the man. Coach, we tried this and failed hard. The pitch is too unpredictable. Come on, dude. I know this isn't ideal, but... We've gotta make the most of our situation, right? Unpredictable pitch is the perfect way to prepare for an unpredictable player like Donaldo. But how's it gonna help us if we can't get back in time for the game? Don't worry about that. Our ride is almost here. But before we leave, I want to try one more drill. I've seen what the defenders have learned. 
now it's the forward's turn. Business with you, Coach. Actually, I've got one more job for you. This is how to soak away those aches and pains. Yeah, I think I just earned my ultimate relaxation badge. <laughs> Guys, come look at this. Remember when North said Alberto Ventura never made it out of the jungle? Yeah. That's because he spent the rest of his life chilling in this hotel. <laughs> it's just as well North isn't here to see this. I still don't get why he'd want to miss out on some mega relaxation. North hmm? hates this stuff, remember? So I gave him another chance to take on nature. As the Grim FC two of us rock and rolls into town. And part of their entourage, a terrifying new move that no goalkeeper has been able to save. The ghost train. Let's find out more. Coach Belmont, how did you come up with the ghost train? I didn't. Every coach in Grimm's long history has stored their football knowledge in an ancient, powerful book. The Tactinomicon! <gasps> Could someone please close that window? Sorry! Uh, Whatever. So over the top. The ghost train does sound kind of... Don't say it, dude! Scary. Huh? Why? Really? Uh, aren't we gonna need a goalie to stop the ghost train? Yeah, why does Big Bo get time off before the game? Big Bo is doing top secret preparation for the ghost train. He's our last line of defense against them. <laughs> Strikers have a personal significance for Grim FC? Big Bo did accidentally injure your legendary striker, Spike Dawson. Not at all. Spike Dawson was a great player, but his spitefulness tainted the good name of this club. I'm glad to say we've seen the last of him. Ha! <laughs> That's what you think. My beautiful trophies. But my collection is incomplete. Not for long, though. Soon I will end Big Bo's career, just like he ended mine! And claim his gloves as my final trophy! Spike! I bank you some strudel! Mother! Don't interrupt me while I'm plotting revenge! Don't you backchat me, young man! Sorry, Mom. Planning to leave the goalie cave anytime soon, sir? It's getting musty in here. All worth it, Albert. I'm beginning to understand how Grimm's new move works. They stay in a very tight formation to hide the position of the ball. The keeper doesn't know where the shot is coming from.
My positioning and reflexes will have to be spot on to stand any chance against the ghost train. And how do you plan to achieve that, sir? The quad cannons. I told Grim FC they'd be nothing without me! Especially after I steal their precious Tactonomicon! Now, to pay Big Bo a visit. Mom! I'm stuck! Don't worry, dearie. I'll get this brutal prince. We'll get you out of there in no time. Activate quad cannons. Quad cannons activated. <laughs> yes, yes, I heard you the first thirty times. Would you like to buy some strudel, dearie? Hmm. Delicious. Come inside. I can't resist a good strudel. Why, thank you. Dearie. an authorized quad cannon technician. Ah, my beautiful trophy. <laughs> this revenge thing is getting really old, Spike. I won't stop until End I... End my career just like I ended yours. Like I said, old. But I'm not injured. Your plan failed. Ha! Ah, that's what you think! But you're not the only one who knows all the angles, Big Bo. <clears throat> huh? Huh? Uh, excuse me, sir. Could you help me, please? I'm terribly sorry, sir. That old woman lured me in with lies and delicious strudel. That wasn't an old woman. It was Spike Dawson. Spike Dawson? After all this time, what are we going to do about him? Nothing for now. I need to rest up for the game against Grimm. Are you done playing with your friend, Spike? Sworn enemy, Mother! Big Bo is my sworn enemy! And the game I'm playing is only just beginning. <laughs> Super League Disciplinary Board. I have information regarding the theft of the Tectonomicon. Morning, sir. Sleep well? Yep. I'm ready to bring the ghost train screeching to a halt. Don't buy any strudel, okay? Very funny, sir. I'm Agent 1. I'm Agent 2. From, from the, the Super League, League Disciplinary Board. I don't have a number yet, but if I help crack the case, I can totally earn one! Read your Agent Rulebook, rookie. 
Rule 4.73. A Super League agent always remains calm. It keeps your mind clear and makes you look extra cool at all times. Uh, how exactly can I help you, gentlemen? We got a tip-off that Big Bo was involved in the theft of the Tactonomicon. You're not the only one who knows all the angles, Big Bo! Spike wasn't trying to injure me. He was trying to frame me. Mind if we take a look around? What makes you think Big Bo was involved in this crime? We got an anonymous tip. Besides, with Big Bo facing the ghost train, no one would have more to gain from stealing the book. I found it! I found it, I found it, I found it! Protocol, Junior. Rule 1.7. A Super League agent never smiles. There's some kind of grease on here. Same stuff we found on Grimm's bus. Big Bo is now our prime suspect. <laughs> I want Strike a Land secured immediately. Spike must have planted the Tactonomicon here last night. He's trying to get me banned for life. So, what are we going to do about it? Clearing my name would be good, but duty calls. The game, sir? At the risk of stating the obvious, there's nowhere to hide on a football pitch. Hmm. Maybe I don't have to. Here we go. The Super League Agent's Rulebook. I have a plan that'll let me play the game, stop the ghost train, and prove Spike framed me. Sounds easy enough, sir. Match night at Strikerland. And the terrifying Grim fans descend on the stadium. But they're nothing compared to the team itself. <laughs> But by far the weirdest thing tonight is Super Strikers are starting with their number two goalie, Noah Murdoch. If any goalie can stop the ghost train, surely it's Big Bo. Hear that, Brenda? Chugga, 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 chugga. Do, do. Here comes the ghost train. Where's the ball? No idea, dude. Super Strikers are gonna need a bigger goalie. Hold it. We're looking for someone matching your description. Never mind. Move along, kids. I'm so sorry, guys. I let you down. Don't worry, dude. No one's been able to stop the ghost train. So far. <gasps> Big Bo? Where have you been, man? Well, Spike framed me for stealing the Tactonomicon, and now I'm kind of on the run from the SLDB. Huh? I hate to be Captain Insensitive, but did you find a way to stop the ghost train, Big Bo? Don't worry, guys. I know all the angles. Wait a second. If you can stop the ghost train, it'll totally seem like you stole the Tactonomicon. It is gonna look weird, man. Have you thought about, you know, missing the save on purpose? Yeah, some things are more important than football. Mm. Or not. I won't let Spike Dawson win. I'm gonna go out there, and I'm gonna stop the ghost train. How are you even gonna get on the pitch? This place is crawling with Super League agents. With a bit of luck and a bit of help from the Super League rulebook. 
The good news for Super Strikers fans is that the hapless Noah Murdoch has been taken off. And the uh, bad news, Mac, is that they haven't replaced him. Super Strikers are starting the second half without a goalkeeper. Big Boo, stop right there. Rule 54.72, know the suspect. You put your whole career at risk just to learn how to stop the ghost train. There's no way you'd miss this game. You, you guys got it all wrong. I didn't steal the Tactonomicon. I was framed by Spike Dawson. Give yourself up, Big Bo. You've got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. I don't need to hide. Rule 7.94. Ah, go tell me. I know this one. <laughs> no Super League agents are allowed on the field during game time. Slip through our fingers. I want him apprehended the moment the final whistle blows. Affirmative. 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 With Big Bo back on the pitch, do Super Strikers have a chance against Grimm? We're about to find out, Brenda. Affirmative. <laughs> All right, guys. Big Bo risked everything for this team. Let's make it worth his while. Affirmative. It's a goal. This is an outrage. Big Bo's a cheat. The name Spike Dawson ring any bells? Big Bo claimed he set him up. Bah! Ridiculous. Spike Dawson's ancient history. Hello? Anybody home? What's that? You're on the run from the law? Oh, I'll just let myself in then. Oh, I've waited so long for this moment. With Big Bo out the way, I can finally collect my trophy. What? No, no! This can't be! Grim FC on the attack oh. again. But this time, the mighty Big Bo stands between them and the goal. Huh? He's playing? Those clubs will be mine! <laughs> so far, so good. It's all up to you now, sir. Big Bo helped his team level the scores! But his real challenge is about to begin! Uh, the Ghost Train! Uh, can't believe I'm saying this, but kind of hope Big Bo misses. I know what you mean, man. Affirmative. You really need some new lines, son. Affirmative. Strudo? <laughs> huh? Crunchy, delicious Strudo? Strudo? Get your hot Strudo! <gasps> gotcha. <laughs> huh? We're well into injury time. Will Big Bo prevail? Or will the ghost train ride him down? I have to lure Spike out into the open, or I'm done for. But how? Ah, my beautiful trophy. I 
positioning and reflexes will have to be spot on. Big Bo's taking the gloves off, literally. He's really bought into the whole showmanship thing. Big Bo will pay for his disrespect. <laughs> Only Big Bo stands between Grim FC and victory. Can he do it? Gimme, they're mine. Uh, two fans seem to be fighting over Big. Gloves. Hey, isn't that Spike Dawson? Gotcha. What? Big Bo was telling the truth. All agents move in. Get Spike, Spike Dawson. Dawson. You did it! Oh, thanks, guys. Uh, this soccer mystery of the century and all the strudel you can eat, and I missed them both. Luckily, Big Bo catches everything. Yeah, man. You really weren't kidding when you said you had all the angles covered. How did he fit in there? Strudel grease. Ew. Hey, isn't that the same stuff they found on Grimm's bus and on the Technomicon? Great work, Junior. You've earned these. <laughs> Protocol, Greenhorn. A Super League agent never smiles. But we'll allow it this one time, Agent 3. 127. Spike Dust! What have I told you about playing in the garbage? Uh, sorry, Mother. Well, come on, then. Let's go home. 